Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. This is just general energy. So it does there's, It's not specific to anything, love, career, a sign, or anything that, like that. Um, it is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, you can always email me. The information is in the description box below. And I have put the um, reading information, like the readings that I offer, back in the description box for you guys. So check that out and shoot me an email if you'd like. Um, but also keep in mind that energies are fluid and time is an illusion. So just because it's dated for Wednesday, May 22nd, doesn't mean it has to resonate only on the 22nd. It can resonate at any time for you, okay? Just dating it like this is for... Um, organizational purposes. Yes? Okay, guys. Um, I hope you guys had a great Tuesday. I did, actually. Um, actually, Tuesday turned out to be really cool. I ended up being able to take the night off because some readings that I had scheduled are now being rescheduled. So that was a nice surprise. So I'm feeling nice and fresh for us today. <laughs> and I'm going to get into these energies for today. So let's see what we've got. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids. I'm gonna give this a few shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for today. Tuesday, no, not Tuesday, Wednesday. Good Lord, Eric, keep it together. Wednesday, Wednesday, May 22nd. Wednesday, May 22nd. You know what, actually? Yeah, we'll just keep it this way. <laughs> Wednesday, May 22nd. I'm having trouble speaking today, guys. Wednesday, 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 May 22nd, 2019. One more shuffle for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2nd Okie dokie. Take one last sip. A little sample. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got today, guys. Wednesday, May 22nd. Best messages, please, Spirit. For Wednesday, May 22nd. I'm seeing pink, which is unconditional love, divine love. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Oh. Okay. That's it. Wow. Three cards. Ah, okay. Overall energy we have here is the hanged man. Now, when I was channel like as I was pulling the cards, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look, look, underneath that, underneath the hanged man is the nine of cups that wanted to come out. I'm gonna leave this here. Okay. So as I was um, you know, shuffling the cards, waiting for the for them to come out and just focusing on the energy and the message for today, I was seeing pink. So there is some sort of love here. Um it could either be somebody is feeling <laughs> is feeling the love or someone is being showered with divine love right now as some sort of confidence boost. Um also, I do feel compelled to mention, uh, I think it was right as I started the prayer. So like, as I was just saying, you know, high spirit and all that, and just working on connecting with the energy for today, I was seeing yellow, which is um, the solar plexus. It is willpower. It is illumination. Um, it 
it's representative of the energies of the sun, which are illuminatory, um, vibrant, happy, exciting, exuberant, joyful, fun-loving, outgoing. Um, and I was also seeing some a bit of orange, which would be the sacral chakra, which would be sexuality, um, uh, the emotions. And then here, we're starting out, the first card that came out is the Ace of Wands. So, there is some sort of um, excitement, exuberance, um, some sort of passion. Some of you may have uh, recently chosen a new path to walk, or you are in the process of coming to terms with something that is new in your life that is creatively driven or is just um, passionately driven. You may be working on, well, I just said that, um, you may be, I'm picking up, some of you are like trying to choose something here. Um, but the biggest thing that I'm getting that's coming through with this Ace of Wands is that there's some sort of new form of inspiration. Now, also, this could be sexual energy. Someone might be feeling pretty sprung, might be wanting to do the, do the nasty, mm-hmm, get down with it, you know, that kind of thing. Now, wait, now that's, that's, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing at all doesn't have to be a bad thing at all um oh sorry guys i gotta blow my nose really quick here um excuse me for just a moment mm. okay um yeah but moving on from there though because next we have the four of pentacles and the three of swords so you might be feeling these energies. You might be feeling really creative. You might be wanting to move in a new creative direction. You might be feeling very, very attracted to someone. Spirit keeps, <laughs> Spirit keeps saying sprung. You might be really sprung on someone. Someone might be really sprung on you. But with that said, there's a change in perspective that's needed here or some sort of enlightenment that is either in the process of happening or needs to happen with the hanged man because someone is having trouble opening up. Four of Pentacles. Now, this could be a mutual energy. If you are connecting with someone on a romantic level, on a soul level, um, and you two are feeling pretty hot and heavy, like the tension is building between the two of you, both of you could be having trouble opening up. Others could be, if you're trying to move in a new creative direction, this could be uh, for you. It could be a blockage of that creative flow. Like, you might... This is weird. This is weird. It's entirely possible, but it's weird. Like you might be feeling really inspired with the Ace of Wands, but for but something is holding you back. Something is keeping you from opening the floodgates and really allowing it to flow. And that would be this Three of Swords energy. Um, this Three of Energy, this Three of Swords energy is a past energy for the most part. That's really what I'm feeling here for most of you. I'm really not picking up that there's any new form of betrayal. Now, what I want to say about this here, first of all, some of you are actively feeling like you're stuck, like you're in limbo, and it's and for you it is creatively driven, okay? A passion project. Um, and it really, it could even be like something at work you know, that you are responsible for or you're a part of a team in some way. Um, but there's a blockage. Ooh, ooh, okay. This is coming through. Um, some of you, for someone, or maybe a number of you, there is a work situation in which you are, you are a part of a team, but there may have been some sort of backstabbing, betrayal, um, or someone just maybe, and it, it doesn't even have to be extreme or major. It really could just be that someone didn't follow through and now there's some sort of animosity between the team members or at least between you and this other team member. I don't know. I don't know the specifics of this situation. Um, but because of that, there's a blockage. Someone's not opening up. Someone doesn't feel like they can be trusted or someone doesn't feel like they can trust others. But ultimately, 
regardless of what the situation is here, there is a change in perspective that's needed with this hanged man energy. There's a, there's a, a moment of enlightenment that is in the works, it is in the process of developing, it is in the process of happening. Oh, it is actually, I just heard, it's in the process of moving forward. So regardless of the circumstances currently, regardless of how it may look right now, and as you can see, there is an image of the moon on this card now. Granted, this is the moon child tarot. There is a lot of moon symbology here. But in my opinion, what this is saying is things are, well, at least from what I'm hearing right now, what I'm picking up from the situation, things aren't quite as they seem still. I've been saying that for a few weeks now. Um, but change is happening. And I really do feel like this is a change in perspective for everybody involved here. Now, for say, if you are in a romantic situation and you're connecting with someone new, or maybe you're reconnecting with the person, with the same person. Both of you are having trouble opening up right now. And, but as a result, both of you are going through certain situations that are allowing you to change your perspective here when it comes to opening up or not opening up due to past heartbreak. Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yeah? Clarity. Let's move on to some clarifiers. And actually, this time, I do want to clarify the hanged man specifically. Okay, so Spirit is saying, let's start with that. All right, cool. I am using the Crystal Visions deck today. Y'all, can I just share this with you? Because like it was, I was so upset about it. Um, I lost one of my cards for my Golden Universal Tarot, and I just bought that deck. Like, just bought it. I was so upset about, upset about it when I found out. But you know what, it's okay. I'll just get a new one. It's not about the money. It's just I really love that deck. <sighs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, but I'm saying that to say that's most, that's like most of the reason why I'm not using it right now. So we're going to go to one of my other favorites, which is the Crystal Visions. All right. So clarifiers, clarity for today. We're going to start we're going to start by clarifying the hanged man cuz I want to talk more about what this change in perspective really means for this situation for both people involved because I do feel like this is for both people right now. Like there's some this feels like there's some major growth that's happening and even though it you might be feeling stuck, you might be feeling stagnant. Um this is really good growth. Like this is this is definitely like push you out of your comfort zone growth, which is exactly what we need to be doing here. Hold on guys, there's a garbage truck coming. I just wanna close my window so it doesn't get too loud for too long. Okay. Ooh, all right. But yeah, this really feels like a major growth moment for all parties involved if you are resonating with this situation, okay? We're gonna give this one more shuffle and then we're gonna clarify this hanged, ooh, whoa, okay, we've got flyers. Damn, 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 all right. So, first things first, the chariot came out as a flyer. Now it did come out reversed but Spirit is saying the reversal is not necessary. The reversal was only a reflection of the stagnation that you're feeling right now, all right? Um, like I said, guys, this is a really a growth moment, okay? A big, big growth moment. You have, you have the Eight of Cups here with the Fool. Ooh, I might be able to open my window again. And then you also have the Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, 
Excuse me. Okay. What does this mean? Well, the chariot came out first. Yeah, I'm going to open my window again. Because I like the ambience and like the, the birds chirping and all that stuff. Alrighty. The chariot and the queen of pentacles. So the chariot came out first and it did come out in reverse, but spirit is just saying that's just the nature of the stagnancy of the hanged man, okay? You are actually moving forward. Um, well, okay, technically, yes, you are because you're going through this situation where you're growing, you're expanding, you're learning, you're coming out of your comfort zone, you're working on seeing something differently, okay? And that has a lot to do with the old programming associated with heartbreak here with the three of swords. Um, but once you move once you come out of this energy of the hanged man, once you reach a new perspective and you're able to really open up and let go of the past of whatever's been hurting you, then the chariot comes into play, okay? But first, in order to do that, you have to let go of the past. You have to walk away from something in the past with the Eight of Cups. And you have to take a leap of faith with the fool. And that's absolutely what you are this 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 fool energy is literally what you are facing right now some of you are in fact needing to take some sort of leap of faith and you are very well aware of that but because of the past three of swords uh the past pain you're in a sense refusing to open up and that's I, i'm just take that with a grain of salt but that's the way it came through in my head that's where i that's how i heard it so that's how i'm gonna say it but you know fit it to your situation i don't want i'm not trying to like trigger anybody but there is a bit of a refusal to to open up or to let go or to move forward in some way queen of pentacles is i don't know someone's playing some music i don't know if you guys can hear it that's outside also, though, I just want to mention it's 10 minutes to 7 in the morning. Like, maybe that's a little rude. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I know. And then here I am. Well, you're the one talking here. Well, I'm at least trying to be quiet. I don't know if y'all can hear that. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> but see, that was the Queen of Pentacles in me kind of like perking up, being like, um, hello, it's a little too early for that right now. <laughs> okay, anyway. The Queen of Pentacles energy is interesting. I'm trying to get a little more definition on it, but the first thing that I picked up on that I wanted to actually really say about the Queen of Pentacles, and now just, just keep in mind, the Queen of Pentacles was like over here, was on the bottom of this stack here, and as I was moving it around, it showed itself, so I decided to take it. And so there's a message of stoicism. There's also a message of patience and perseverance because the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, there we go, okay, it stopped. The energy of the Queen of Pentacles that I'm picking up on right now is the energy of someone that's willing to do the hard work, that's willing to be in it for the long haul. Um, it's almost as if you feel yourself stepping into this Queen of Pentacles energy again. Wow. Okay. Full all the well, well, well while still you're whether you like it or not, you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. I'm not gonna lie. Either you or someone that you're connecting with, or other people that you are in this situation with. Somebody here is in the Queen of Pentacles energy. Most likely the viewer of this most likely the viewer of this reading but not necessarily okay uh, i take it as it resonates but whether you like it or not and i am going to say it that way whether you like it or not you're in this queen of pentacles energy and yet for and yet some of you or whatever you're refusing to open up but that's because of the past pain so this is the energy of that queen of pentacles that was in it to win it she was in it for the long haul she was doing it she was doing it she was doing it and then she realized she was getting taken advantage of and she shut that shit down immediately maybe not immediately but but once she really got <laughs> sufficient energy or sufficient understanding she shut that shit down and that's a situation in which once she turns her back on you, good luck getting her to turn around. Well, now we have a new situation here, Ace of Wands. And I'm a, I'm, hey, I'm just going to say it. There are all the feels, okay? There are all kinds of feels going on in this situation. And the Queen of Pentacles here recognizes it, okay? And she's not really opening up. 
But that's where the hanged man comes in. Because we've got to walk away from the past, take a leap of faith, and change our perspective to get moving in a direction that actually is very much in alignment with us, the chariot, okay? Wow. Okay, well there was the clarification for the hanged man, so now, I, I've honestly, well that was a lot of clarification. It was clarification for the whole damn reading. So what I wanna do, <laughs> I love it how that works. So what I want to do now is I want to get a closing message, actually. Let's get a closing message. A little thimble. Alrighty. Yes, in diddly do. Closing message, please, Spirit. One more shuffle on just how to approach this situation. Um, what really needs to change in order to change, or what needs to happen, what shifts need to be made in order for this change in perspective, this enlightenment to happen in order for people to open up. Because again, it's not just, ooh, okay, check it out. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this down for a second because something just came through. If you don't identify or resonate with the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, that's okay because you're still aware. Either you're aware because of your past in this type of situation or you're aware of this Queen of Pentacles energy because you see it in this person that you're connecting with and you know, like you see like they're a badass, they're, they're stable, they're grounded, they're abundant, they're proficient, they're efficient, they're um, a hard worker, they're caring, they're compassionate, but they'll still, like, they'll, they'll love you to death, but they'll still knock your lights out. That's part of the reason, even though you may be feeling inspired, they actually may really turn you on, you're kind of like, ooh, ooh, I don't know if I can open up for this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Because maybe you've had some pretty nasty situations. May oh, okay. Um, Spirit just said narcissistic cycle. So maybe, maybe, if you don't identify with the Queen of Pentacles energy, maybe you were, okay, maybe you were a masculine energy. I think I really do kind of feel like I'm speaking to some sort of masculine energy here. Um, and you were in a fairly narcissistic cycle in that time in your life when you did have a queen of pentacles around you and that shit did not go well. She ends, he or she, it doesn't matter the gender, it's just the energy, but they may have ended up hating you um, and now you're kind of seeing it all play out again and yet you are changing your perspective also. You may be changing the way that you're approaching the situation. You may be changing the way you, you, you show up in the situation. Now, for everybody involved. This does not mean it's going to happen overnight. This is not an overnight pr process, okay? This is going to take some time, but there is movement here because the chariot did come out. Even though the chariot was in reverse, the hanged man is the catalyst, is the enlightenment energy. It's the illumination. There's that yellow energy that I was seeing in the beginning of the reading. Um, it's the illumination. It's the clarity. It's the aha moment. It is the change in perspective that is going to eventually allow the chariot to turn right side up. People are going to be taking leap of, leaps, of, leaps of faith and boop, you've got some moving, okay? Wow. All of that in so little cards. That's crazy, but okay. So now let's get a closing message on how to handle this. Closing message, please, Spirit. Cool. Oh, wow. Looky here. I lost it. I, I don't know if I told you guys, but remember when I was saying that I, I lost one of the cards from my crystal, not my crystal, from my um, golden, my new golden universal deck? It was the Six of Cups. Oh. 
King of Wands, excellent. And underneath the deck here we have, ooh, chow. Looky here. Overall energy for the closing message is the Two of Cups, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, I have to blow my nose really quick. Oh God, that's gross. Oh God, ew. It's all allergies, but you know what though? I'm super grateful because this year my allergies have not been nearly as bad as they have been in the past. Like my allergies have been so bad since I was a kid, okay? But like in the, within the last like three, or three years or so, like they would get so bad right around this season, actually more closer to my birthday on the 6th of May, but like, like literally it was like clockwork, like that week right before my birthday, they would get, they would just explode. And I couldn't, I couldn't be outside for more than 30 seconds before all of a sudden my face was just exploding. It was terrible. This year, nowhere near as bad. So I am incredibly grateful. Cheers to bodies adjusting and healing and growing. <laughs> okay, back to this closing message. First of all, the overall energy here is the Two of Cups. Now, this could be, I'm hearing a reconciliation. Okay, hold on. This could be romantic in nature, absolutely. But something that's specific that I wanna point out here, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be creative partners coming together and saying, hey, let's work this thing out. All right, that's literally what we've been talking about here with this change in perspective. Now, back to love, this could definitely be you coming together with someone, okay? Counterpart situation, remember? Spirit just said that, Spirit just reminded me. Um, the message for Monday and Tuesday was counterparts all over the place, so hello. Now, we do have the King of Wands here, also with the Six of Cups for now. But the King of Wands is an energy of someone being very, very self-confident, very, very sure of themselves, knowing exactly what they want and not being afraid to go after it, but also knowing when to the right time to strike is, like kind of biding their time. Yeah, Six of Cups is um, uh, a soulmate. Um, and soulmates do not have to be romantic, okay? A soulmate can be a best friend, can be a coworker. It's anyone that you have a connection with um, that's really strong, like a friend. It really could be a friend, okay? Um, the Six of Cups is the past. I do feel like there's some sort of healing of the past, like we were talking about with this Three of Swords, but it could also go deep as like your childhood, okay? Some of that could be healing here. Let's go to this Ace of Wands. We have the King of, ooh, whoa. Okay, with the Ace of Wands here, we have the King of Swords with the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's the Queen of Pentacles again, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, and the tower. Okay. Holy shit, you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so what the King of Swords and the Eight of Wands is saying here, this is for both parties, okay? For both sides of the equation, masculine and feminine, if that resonates with you, um, creative partners, business associates, whatever your situation is. There lack, there, there's inspiration here, Ace of Wands, but there is a lack of communication because someone potentially could be, but not be, because people are overthinking, they're being really straight, really logical. Um, this feels like a defense mechanism with this King of Swords. The King of Swords is keeping people from really communicating about things. This could be because you're trying to avoid a fight, maybe if you are in a, a business or an office situation. Um, it's the lack of emotion. It's the lack of emotion that are keeping people from communicating. But then on top of that with the Eight of Wands, because yes, the Eight of Wands is about communication, but it's also about movement. So it's keeping the situation from moving forward. The Eight of Wands is a very similar energy to the Chariot. Could You could even say it's a... Uh, a minor arcana version of the chariot, okay? The lack of emotional value is what's keeping the situation from really moving forward, maybe moving forward as fast as you want, or maybe moving forward um, in, the way, <clears throat> in the way that you want. 
um, if you are in a romantic situation, people could be, both sides of the equation, could be keeping their emotions in check and just keeping it strictly business. That's kind of what this King of Swords feels like. It's like, yeah, we'll talk to each other, but like as far as getting down to, you know, really getting to know each other, mm, I don't know about that. Or I don't know about that right now. Maybe you just need a little more time. Now, looky here. The Queen of Pentacles came out again, and you guys watched me shuffle that deck after pulling the clarifiers, okay? The Queen of Pentacles came out again, but it came out with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower, you guys. Again, this is a message for both sides of the equation. Either the person that identifies as the Queen of Pentacles or the other person that is connecting with this Queen of Pentacles energy. There is a change in karma. There's a change in the karmic cycle. And what I really feel like here is why both parties are feeling so stagnant or might maybe feeling so stuck or are going through such an enlightening period with this hanged man energy is because both of you are making this change. This is not like a situation in which this Queen of Pentacles comes around and she stands her ground and changes a bunch of shit around her. No, shit's changing for her too. The Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. And you're closing out major, major, major karmic cycles here through the change in perspective that you have that you're working on on or that you're working on here. And for some of you, this really could be very subconscious. Like you don't even realize it that it's what's happening, but it's happening. This feels very, very good. Especially this tower here. This tower feels great. And you want to know why? Because it's breaking down the structure. Did you hear that? That was a crow, and I just saw it fly by. Okay. Okay. Can y'all say... Y'all. There is some serious change happening here. Death and rebirth. Okay? Uh, shit, I forgot what I was... I lost my place. I got so excited, but... Um, it's still around. The Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Damn it. Oh, God, I wish I could remember what I was going to say now. Oh, but you're breaking... This Queen of Pentacles... Let's talk for about the Queen of Pentacles for a second. She's breaking out down these barriers, these walls, these structures that have that she's built up. In experience, it's not like she's just put up walls for the sake of putting walls or for the sake of put, protecting herself. No, these are hard-learned experiences. I mean, think about it. She's the queen of pentacles. She is grounded as fuck, y'all. Okay? <laughs> so, of course, she's going to learn. And she, of course, she's going to build structures surrounding what she's learned. That's, that's literally why we're here on this three-dimensional human earth plane. Okay? But these things are changing now. Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. All right? That's good. Golly. That's beautiful. So, okay, to this Queen of Pentacles, I want to say to you, regardless of what happens with this specific person, Two of Cups, or in this specific creative endeavor, if this is business, if this is just creatively, whatever, regardless of the circumstance, whatever happens with this situation here, even if it ultimately turns out to not be what you thought it was going to be or not be what you wanted it to be, doesn't, doesn't matter because this will still have changed so much for you. And it's going to have a ripple effect. That's another thing that I'm picking up here. This is big karmic change for everybody even in the vicinity of this situation. Like if there are people observing what's happening from the outside, it's having an effect on them too. Like leading by example type of energy. Whoa, guys. That's amazing. Okay. Wow. Okay, so now I'm gonna close the reading here with an oracle message from the Crystal Mandala deck. Oh wait, I don't have the book. Hold on. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit of a mess at the moment. Hold on, I gotta get the book. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Don't ask me why it was all the way over there. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get this closing message here. I'm going to give this three shuffles. 
closing message, please, Spirit. Closing message. All right, guys. There we go. Yes! Oh my God, yes! Oh, I love it when things line up like this. Like, it's so crazy. Okay. Card number 41, Goddess Ishtar and Astrophilite. Daring rebirth. Holy shit, guys. Also, four and one boil down to a five. Five is a number of change. It's also a number of struggle and challenge, but it's also a number of change. Woo! Oof, this is fantastic, you guys. Here we go. We bring you the power, the, I'm oh, sorry, let me say that again. We bring you the empowerment of daring rebirth. The bold spirit in you claims the divine defiance of the phoenix. It refuses defeat at every turn, no matter who or what may seek to overpower your spirit, your peace, your loving heart, and wild optimism, you shall triumph in a divine and daring rebirth. Do not limit yourself with expectations, whether from another or your own mind. There is so much possible for you, a radically different and new you to become. Believe, and so shall it be. Ooh, ooh, y'all. Yo, okay. Okay, no, I want to read this. The Oracle of Daring Rebirth comes to you when, the, when there is an opportunity to confront a fear and release it, to let go of a belief system or behavior that is getting in the way of the life you actually dream of living. It's your decision whether to... Ch Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to... Uh, let me... I'm going to say that again. I'm, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read that again. <laughs> the Oracle of Daring Rebirth comes to you when there is an opportunity to confront a fear and release it, to let go of a belief system or behavior that is getting in the way of the life you actually dream of living, the tower and the wheel of fortune. Good God. It's your decision whether to challenge that fear now, later, or at all. If you are doubting your readiness and capacity, however, this oracle suggests that you are more ready than you think you are and that your time is now. Go ahead and drop that mic. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Much, much love to you guys. Oh, damn it. I, grr, I forgot. Okay, we're doing happy hour tonight. And I, and normally I like to announce it in the beginning of the reading because if the reading doesn't resonate with you, I don't want you to have to like watch the whole thing just to see if we're doing happy hour. But sorry guys, um, we're doing happy hour tonight. I will post it on, um, I will post it in the community tab. Um, I have at least one person on the list right now, um, but Go ahead, and this is actually someone left over from last week. But if you would like to get on the list for happy hour tonight, go ahead and uh, shoot uh, the payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations. Happy hour questions are $20 each. Um, and I do a maximum of 10, okay? 10 sessions, uh, or 10 readings in the session. If you come on, if you wanna wait and just wait until we're in the session, that's fine. Just make sure if you're coming into the session as it's in progress and you would like to get on the list, please just ask first, okay? Because the list can fill up pretty quickly. And I'm only gonna do 10 readings in that session, which means I'll, if, you, if you just send payment, uh, I'll honor it, but I most likely won't honor it until the next session, okay? So just ask. Um, anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again, either for happy hour this evening or for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.